Hi guys, Trevor from Van Hung Sporting. Today I'm going to show you, using the Mai Mai 11 foot kayak, how to change your rudder system from a handle position to a foot pedal position. Okay guys, we're going to look now at how to set up the front pedal rudder system. I've removed the cap already. Very important on this to realize that the cap has got two parts. The first part is the back part here. This must always be in place at the back, not the front. If you put this part in the front, it's not going to fit all the cabling nice and easy. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the rudder at the very bottom, loosening this screw over here with a 10 mil socket. Once the rudder stem has got out of place here, I'm going to just place a gent over here so I know where all my working parts are. As you can see now, the spindle is completely loose in my hand. On the spindle, there's a small little hole at the bottom of here. This is where the left-hand side cable over here is going to make its way through. Now, there are four sets of cables here. The inserts over here are for the handheld rudder. The exerts over here, the outserts, are here because I use them for the foothold rudder. The first thing we're going to do is ensure you keep a good grip on these lines because if these lines do slip in, they can be a little bit tricky to hold. We're going to line this up, put the little cabling through here, and then immediately before you do anything else, please ensure that you tighten up at least a little bit so you cannot lose the line inside. Once that is done, we can look at connecting the second one. The second one just simply looses over here. We're going to then take it from here, this position over here. And then this is going to go on the top track. Because this is coming from the bottom, it goes from the bottom track like this. And the top one over here is going to go from the top track. You see the top track over here. Most importantly again, please remember that you must ensure you do not lose control of the lines when it's going down. Just the reason is you want to make this process as simple as possible. Once you're around, loosen up slightly and tighten up. Once you're in position, what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert the rudder at the bottom. The idea is now that once these cables are in place, this will help us to guide and direct the rudder into making it into a direct straight line. Please ensure that when you are doing this, to make sure that the actual rudder is at center mass the entire time. Use the top of your thighs to try and keep it in position. It does actually help. Okay, so once it's in position, what we're going to do is now we're going to start to adjust. The most important thing to remember is that when you adjust this, the foot pedal in front needs to be at an upright position. The reason being is very simply that when you push down, you don't have to bend your toes to try and turn the kayak. So I'm going to push the actual position and actually put it in nice and tight like this. And once you're at 100% upright position, we're going to go around again, just gently, making sure we get all of them in perfect position. Keeping a hold, a good hold of it the entire time. Go around the bottom of the screw, go around the screw, and then we're going to tighten this one up completely. There we go, nice and tight. We're going to do the, exactly the same process. You can see already the spindle is pulling to one side. If I let go of it again, the spindle pulls the side that we have created already. We're going to loosen this one over here and tighten up incredibly so that they're on equal keel. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm maintaining that the actual rudder system on the bottom is in place to so ensure that we do not lose control. And this is now the rudder system in place. All that is left to be doing now is to tuck in the remaining cords. Remember to knot them, please, and to ensure that the back protective plate is at the back and all your cables are nice and neat in the middle. And that's how you connect your front rudder system. What we're going to do today is we're going to set up the handhold condition. So the reason I've attached them over here to the bungee cording is very, very simple. If they retract into the deck, it can be a trick to get them out. So always remember that when you are doing this, please make knots or little loops in your lines so that they actually do not get sucked back in the deck because they are paracording and they are worked on springs and bungees. First thing we do is take off the nut. We're going to attract the, the rudder system out the bottom. Put the rudder system over here next to you. And we're going to have so what we're going to do is, if you look over here very carefully, on the spindle, there's a small hole here I'm indicating with the actual cable. That is where your bottom and your right-hand side is going to put, go through. So what you do very simply is put it through, 
and the first thing you do is loop it around just like that. The reason is to just keep it in place while you throw it in a different direction. Once you have that in place, you're going to go around the bottom like this and in the actual tracks and hold it in place. Now, this is pretty much your one in place position right now. The second one you're going to do is you're going to obviously use the second one over here, which is this one on the left hand side. What we're going to do in the meantime being though, is we're going to tighten up this one just so it doesn't fall out of place. Once you've secured it in place using your Phillips, you can feel it doesn't retract, it can't go anywhere, this way it can't go back in the deck, but also it allows you time to use your hands to work with the other system. This one works exactly the same way, but it works on the upper track. Wrap it around very, very simply, through the little gaps, inside the little loophole over here, and then around, The actual connector. So I'm going to slide that in there for you so you can see it nice and easily. Recording. So what you're obviously going to do is once it's all laid up in place like this, secure your cabling around on both sides. Now here comes the small tricky part but not too tricky actually to be, to be very frank it's actually quite easy. We're going to now tighten up. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit gently loosen the screws again I've got both of them in place. Now slowly but surely, we're going to pull one or the other into place, as I'm doing right now. Okay, just like that. Once you have them two of them a little bit more in place, we're going to close again. A little bit on this side of here. Same process. Just pull a little bit tighter like this, just so we can loosen up a little bit of that drag. And now, what we're going to do now, is we're going to fold it over like this and reinsert the fin system from the bottom. Once it's in place, we're going to really put the cap lid back on. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to reattach the 10 mil bolt. Once that is done now, so the way you have originally your place in place. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to test it. Now we need to go a lot tighter. So we're going to loosen up again over here. The most important thing the entire time you are doing this Ensure that the rudder at the very, very back is center mast. Secure it with your legs while you are doing that, and it will work just perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to wrap around again. Insert nice and properly. Go a second wrap. The second wrap is just simply to ensure that it isn't a slip at all. Once the second wrap is in place, tighten one of them down. Remember to ensure that the, that the actual rudder system is at center mast. That's a very, very important factor the entire time. The second one we're going to do now is tighten up again from this side. Wrap around again, double wrap if you can. Good. And we're going to tighten up the screws. Okay. When securing, make sure that all your cabling is nice and neat to the back here. So we're not going to close the, the lid for this video just to show you, but now if you can see nice and clearly that when I move the right at the back of here, the hand system is working in the front. And that is how you connect the rudder system for the handheld.